Yes. All right, so I'm making my bean stew. I make it in different ways, and I use what I got. So I have some garbanzo beans. I used about a half a bag of that. I had a half a bag of lentils. And I just put out some more lentils just in case I needed some more. I forgot I even had these. The good thing is beans last a long time. And I put mine in like Ziploc bags. And I have all of my beans and rice in one space, which is a big space in my cabinets because I love to eat those. Um, these are organic mung beans and they're splits, okay? Mung beans are very, very good for you. Then I just use probably about a handful. That's not half, but like a handful, a little over a handful of um, pinto beans, okay? And the good thing about beans is, let me see if I can find it. It's very low in sodium. Sorry, that says, see? Sodium, 15 more So it's very low in sodium. This is a, a low sodium um, garlic lover's stew. And I have the beans over there going over there. I'm going to actually, I know that's going to be excessive, but it's going to be quite delicious. Two cloves of garlic, the whole thing. I know y'all like that's too much. No, it's going to be delicious, okay? I eat garlic and onions like crazy. And so, of course, for today, I'm eating myself right now. An egg. I have some tofu. And this is a salad. Um, a little small salad. And then um, I saute some mushrooms and spinach. Um, I think a fourth of a teaspoon of Himalayan salt for the whole thing. Okay? So, here are the beans over here. Very beautiful. Garbanzo beans, mung beans, pinto beans, and lentils. Okay? I got these cooking right now. No salt in them so far, okay? I'm going to try to do this no salt. And I am going to add some beef short ribs because my daughters love beef, okay? But you have to remember red meat actually raises your blood pressure or it actually um, takes a long time to digest in your stomach as well. It can make you feel tired and lethargic. So you want to eat it very sparingly or you could just use the broth, okay? Now here's one thing I'm going to add to it that's going to make it extra saucy. All right, sorry, my kids acting up. Okay, so I got some of this rendered chicken fat, organic, and then some beef tallow, okay, it's rendered. I know you guys are thinking like, ew, that's gross, but it's time-honored cooking fat, okay? So if you don't want to use, like, ew, I don't want to use any of the bones, this will kind of give you some of the same um, flavoring as the bone, with like a bone broth, okay? It adds a little bit of that oil, a little bit of that fat, um, into the stew that we all love. And this is raised without antibiotics, so it's completely, completely wonderful, okay? All right, it's very delicious. And you, it just it adds to your culinary imagination. So I'm going to add um, half a teaspoon of both of these. Chop these garlic cloves up and get it to going. 